told him no 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 come in line mr uday kumar uh, as we all know is having this uh, serious omission of uh, giving medical attention to him by the authorities in kemta um, i believe and we believe uh, there is a concerted effort by the authorities to run him down by neglecting or refusing to give him medical treatment you know um, when the matter came up when his matter for the sedition trial came up for hearing at the kuala lumpur sessions court uh, on the 3rd of february uh the judge actually ordered that he be taken to the hospital of course the judge said the uh, government hospital for treatment and if necessary admission but unfortunately the doctor who treated him at uh, kuala lumpur gh on that afternoon uh, did not uh, refer him to a specialist neither did she uh, admit him uh, at kl gh um so again he was immediately sent back to kamunting and from that day onwards uh, his condition has been deteriorating okay one of the uh, some of the significant uh, signs of deterioration is uh, his ankle and feet is blackening right and there is a, a, a continuous uh, swell as well as uh, if you, you you depress the part of the feet with your finger the depression does not uh, go off it remains so we are worried be- because uh, with his diabetic condition uh, as we all know diabetes uh, can take a turn suddenly um, and uh, mr uday kumar told me that even in the chicken soup he gets they put sugar and in the whatever sambal they give there is a lot of sugar this is despite the fact that he specifically asked for uh diabetic uh, diet so the refusal of the police to take him or get him admitted to the hospital the continuous uh, uh action by kemta uh, administrators by including a high content of sugar in his food all only goes to show one thing they are slowly trying to finish him off in kemta i am very i am using very strong words but i think this is uh they are plain uh, the swelling is uh it's worsen okay because, uh, compared to the day he brought to court and uh he's not even letting me to touch it because he says it's very painful and i say come on just let me touch it please i just forced him you know just just bear for a while and i pressed it in as what mano say it's not coming back to the surface no it's it's very bad and uh i would like to highlight here as well as he has diabetic for 14 years and um uh, it's blackening so it's 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 not a good sign i'm what i'm fear of is it could be gangrene <coughs> the doctor said his toe is infected okay there's infection and that caused the swelling so the doctor knows what's happening to kumar's toe and they are not admitting him so called no bait that's what the kl gh told kumar and they said it can cure by itself and no treatment was given nothing so so this is what this is what the doctor in uh, gh say uh, kl gh and back to kl uh, back to typing gh i spoke to dr wong of kemta he told me uh, mrs udaya we are taking kumar tomorrow at 12 uh, at 12 that's where the few days uh, two days back they were taken kumar to gh and kumar was taken and uh, it's the same thing they just i think they took an x ray and they say there's three fractured in the toe and uh, that swelling will be there you just you 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 just don't walk and all this it can cure by itself the same thing they say as his uh, well what i can say what i can say and see on kumar is he got skin disease he got backbone problem he got high blood pressure when he's talking to me i can see he's sweating that's one of the sign his pressure is very high and uh, his diabetic was about 11 point something about uh, about 13.5 if i'm not mistaken so he told me and uh, i think uh, the indian community in malaysia i think we will not keep quiet again i'm telling to the government and if anything happen to uday kumar we will not keep quiet and uh, 
I believe we are prepared this time. We will very soon, we will go down again. I think we are prepared and by a week, we can say a week, we will have a major gathering on this, especially on Uday Kumar. Treatment must given to him immediately. And as MP, we also, later I think we will prepare few letters. We will try to go down and see P. Uday Kumar. I think uh, tomorrow I will talk to uh, Dato Se Anwar Ibrahim and uh, we will write a letter to, to uh, what he called uh, KDN to get his approval. F few of our, our MPs will go down and see see him. And also, which I told you, a week a week time we will prepare a major gathering in KL. Yeah, yeah. And also, what is the problem? If the government don't have money, we will send him to the private hospital wherever, wherever specialists will send him. Why are they so scared? Uh, due to that, on this coming 28th 28. uh, of uh, February in uh, Brickfield uh, Police Station, we'll do a massive uh, police report and we urge all Indian community to come down, give us support because we are talking about a fighter of uh, Indian community who have, uh, who have uh, now put himself for the purpose of the community and we want everybody to come down. So I think the doctors, I hope the Malaysian Medical Council will send a reminder to the doctors to be purely professional in their job. If they find uh, somebody needs to be admitted, they should do that rather than bow down to the pressures of the police. Even convicted prisoners get admitted to hospitals. And in this case, Mr. Uday Kumar is uh, not a convicted prisoner. He is a political uh, you know, activist, uh, human rights uh, lawyer, put away for political reasons. So, um, like what uh, uh, our friend uh, Mr. YB Manik Vasakam said, the government then cannot blame us for not informing them of what we want to do. We have already stated in court, outside court, that Mr. Uday Kumar needs medical treatment that he be admitted in an hospital of his choice. Uh, if this is not allowed, then the government cannot blame the people if they go out to the streets and do a massive demonstration or anything else which will be far bigger than maybe uh, November 25th. Um, that much uh, we can be assured.